Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another episode of Phrases and Sayings. So we're going to twist things up a little bit. Yeah, I'm still going to be talking about the phrase um, that we're going to be presented, in case you haven't figured it out yet, which is bite the bullet. Um, I want to start with this series, starting at least this time, officially at least, um, I want to start talking about like my thoughts on not just how the phrase goes, but... Like, it's history. Like, it's origin. Um, so let's get going with that and starting with that now. Bite the bullet. It, for those who somehow don't know what that term means, as old as the term is, uh, it's basically to accept something difficult or unpleasant. Now, <sighs> it's a tough thing to do, which is why they use the term bullet. But its origin, I find very interesting so this kind of aspect and I actually have it on notes on my phone um, coming from a very specific website called well actually several sources I should say I was about to say one website but I've been looking thoroughly to make sure this is accurate so long periods of time ago like 1800s kind of time period late 1800s um, <clears throat> The origin for this kind of comes from the idea that doctors, well, they didn't have a lot of as anesthesia to work with at the time. You know, it's not exactly as advanced. It wasn't as advanced as it is now, like in the medical field. And even now, some of it still can be, from what I've heard, hard to come by. For good reason, but still. Because of that factor, instead of anesthesia, what they used to use... Um, were bullets. And what they do is they would tell patients to bite down on it um, as they were doing like whatever they needed to do. Surgeries uh, or like whatever kind of process they were doing that was completely painful. What they told the patient to do, they would take a bullet, bite down on it, and they'd have to do that. How well it worked, I have no idea. But I guess it did work to a fault. That's where the origin of it comes from, though. And it's interesting to think about because, I mean, it makes sense. Literally, doctors telling people to literally bite the bullet and go through something extremely difficult and or unpleasant. And it's kind of turned into more of a metaphorical phrase since, you know, we don't exactly have to do that anymore. Thank heavens for that. <laughs> but... It doesn't exactly subside the idea that it's an interesting phrase. I mean, it's a good metaphor. I mean, going through something, it would work even if you were talking about like a bullet being shot at someone and you had to catch it with your mouth. That's like an excessive animated version of what the phrase actually is. Because you do see that in some animations and somehow some individuals in the animation succeed because logic but that's what i originally when before learning where it actually this this phrase actually legitimately originated that's what i thought it was when i looked it up i was like wow really wait doctors used to have patients bite bullets rather than using uh, like probably more reasonable means or something or maybe they just didn't have it yet it's an interesting concept to think about now when you look at modern day and how the phrase is used sure it's not commonly said but when people say tell you to bite the bullet deal with it it's another way of saying deal with it i know it's kind of a harsh term to compare to but it is true and well all of us have to do that every in a while. I'm just kind of surprised how rarely the phrase is actually said. From what I've noticed, at least. Maybe it's said more often than I'm giving it credit for, but if it is, I never hear it. Ever. The phrase itself, though. What are my opinions on the actual phrase and what it's used for? When it's used. If it's used. Ah, uh, Honestly, I think it's kind of harsh, but at the same time, I can see why people would use it. Sometimes you got to be stern when you have to do that. Saying that would help. Because, I mean, 
between the two phrases, bite the bullet or deal with it, I'd rather say bite the bullet because it sounds at least a little bit more appealing. Deal with it just sounds like you're angry. Bite the bullet at least, you know, it, it has it has good to it. Deal with it, I can't see an angle where it does, quite frankly. I don't know if that's good or bad, but either way around, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, that's, I guess that these are really the only thoughts I have about the phrase, because once again, this phrase is not used very often, at least not around me. Do you guys have a suggestion for a phrase you'd like me to talk about on here? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out any other phrases and sayings that have been discussed on this channel? Click the link on this side of my head. Um, or, you know, if this quote doesn't quite fill your boat, but you stuck around to the end of it, first of all, thank you. Um, but second of all, click the link on this side where it'll probably give you a video you may enjoy a bit more. Whether it's me sitting in this chair talking, like, about random different stuff, or maybe a gaming video. I don't know. It's up to you. But anyway, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for tuning in the video, guys, and we hope to see all of you in another one. Catch you guys later.